three, two, one. Yeah, bro, man's talking about Chelsea, Chelsea's new signing. Another, another little Brazilian or something like that, bad man said second division. Fuck these football manager wonder kids, man. Fuck them all. The minute they sign for Chelsea, their shit, man. Fuck all of that, man. We're back to the Premier League, man. The Pagans are dead now. That man said Kennedy 2.0 and that, bro. Literally, he's dead, man. He's dead. Is he Brazilian? Check the passport, man. He's VD. I've never seen him in my life. He's VD, man. I swear that Emerson left back was Brazilian as well, that you man signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly Brazilian brothers, man. Yeah, you but we've had like media, you know, we've had so only few. Alex is the only Brazilian that kind of half done a thing for you, man. No, David Luiz, David Luiz, to be fair, David Luiz, yeah, champion. he's Mandela as well, man. Yeah, 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 he's a scrub as well, blood. That, that Alex Brest with that one free kick that man will live for, live with forever, blood. Yeah, he's getting dust still. Ramirez <laughs> <laughs> as well, fucking up. Mm. Ramirez, I said Ramirez was from Venezuela and that. <laughs> yeah, I think Kenya, but I can't lie. <laughs> Yeah, Oscar right. done his thing and then went China for that check in it. So have yeah. to respect it. Have to. Yeah. So mm. I don't know, bro. So now nah, it's gonna be a mad thing to see um what Chelsea do with their new DOF now. Um, second half of the season coming. Chelsea is looking mad for you. Obviously, your striker's out. Um ACL. what's his name? Yeah, bro, bro, yeah. He, bro has done, yeah. bruv. Like he's yeah. done for the, the foreseeable. Um, you man. The, the brother you brought in from older, someone said that you lot are loaning him out or something. The striker, the Fafana, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, would, I would assume he's been another shit out. Fufana brother. Fuck you, know? <laughs> and then the other Fufana got injured again or yeah, something. Yeah, like, like, they're my dear yeah. shit from, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you man are going through it, Matisse. Yeah, I swear. yeah. I mean, the, the, the season ain't even re kicked off yet, and I've got two injuries, um, two signings. Bro, it's just it's wild. But we're trying to build some sort of under twenty three super team, man. I've never seen, I've never seen so many young. I mean, we already signed Carney um, Chukomenko from Aston Villa, <clears throat> Amari so, as well from Aston. Mother, so it's like the amount of midfielders we're, we're signing, to be honest, is is a bit mad. And I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe it's a fight to the death. See who makes it. Do you know what I mean? But mm. it seems to be the model that we was going on with um, Emanalo when we signed like. De Bruyne and Salah and Courtois and you know we had that Belgium influx hazard both the hazards um all three of them actually I think we were just buying all That's the talent part of the up. contract though don't don't get yeah, yeah you got to be yeah, 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 I'm said I'm only coming if the man them are coming bro yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you scouted all three of them allow it you know <laughs> no, 100% so I, I just think they're trying to buy up all the young players and then you know we'll see who makes it but I I don't really mind it because I'm I'm kind of tired of going to these 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 RB Leipzig's and these. Nah, know, fuck all of that. You know, damn well, you know, like no, but can you imagine you're spending a hundred million for Vardy. No, forget that. You're spending a hundred million potentially on Enzo Fernandez now, Liverpool, and they cost him ten million euros, literally four four yeah, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's I'll something all the Prem clubs are Liverpool, fighting against. You have to buy these man before they dare, bro. Enzo. Or yeah. it's Liverpool aren't going in for Enzo. I thought they wanted um. What's Bellingham. his name? Bellingham. They can't get both of them. Their money ain't no. long like that. Mm, yeah. so I, I do know who's for, for the person in the chat, but I want we need a DM. This is another box to box midfielder. We've signed about three box to box midfielders, so we're, there's still no DM. So you might need specialists, man. You lot love to sign these guys that can do everything, but they're not really one thing first and then do the rest. Mm. For me, as an outsider looking at it, still. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what these... What these I mean, man said, did you want midfielders, Matisse, bro? What's going on at your club, fam? Um, same, as, same as where we left off. No win in five. Um, lost Chicken to Newcastle. Chicken change, though, man. Lost to Newcastle. Lost to Brighton. Drew of United. Lost Drew of Brentford. Um, no win in five. <laughs> Dwindling around in some eighth place position or something. Um, and we got Bournemouth, Bournemouth next at home, so we have to win. Um, there's literally no, no excuse, no, there's no, ex there's no other result that we can take. We need to win this game. But to be honest, I mean, I'm my eyes are all on the January transfer window. I think whoever takes it seriously and whoever doesn't, it will show in the in the end of the table results. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, hundred percent. So what do you envisage that? Do you think there's going to be any notable signings coming in in January? Not really, and you're just going to have to kind of ride it out because losing uh, obviously your striker losing another centre-back bro like Chelsea need 
centre forward reinforcements, blood. Obviously, you've been linked with Memphis. Arsenal's been linked with him, so have we. Like, but you can't just be going into the um, second half of the season with just Aubameyang up front, blood. Aubameyang. I don't even want to go into the season with Aubameyang up front. Not forget. Ah, he's only. a good player, man. Aubameyang thirty still. Man. Forget, forget only. You know, it used to be us laughing at Arsenal because they were having the banter in the dressing room and. You know, throwing blade blades and the Bamiang and Lacazette handshakes, and now, now we got that shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not fun. I'm not enjoying it at all, man. I hope this is his first and last season. I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, we need experienced players, man. He's been there, done it. Wore the t-shirt. A Bamiang will come good, man. Wearing the number nine, big challenge as well. It's cursed at Chelsea. <laughs> he's lit, man. He's lit. He's lit. I said he's, he's gonna rise to the challenge. And he's that. gonna rise to it. You got him, Shelly. What's it, Shelly and Fraser? Who is he at left back? The man there. I'm scared of Chelsea, bro. <laughs> Yo, DG plays too much, man. <laughs> you know what I said, Goku as well. When the minute he plays, plays Chelsea. Chelsea. When? When's the Arsenal Chelsea game? It got to be. Seen, I don't know, man. man. I don't know, but we're not we're not watching them, man. There, if they play like how they did at Stamford Bridge, you're not watching them, man. There, man. I can't lie. Yeah, <laughs> I've man, missed this shit. shit. I can't lie. Like, <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> line has got an Arsenal tattoo from. I swear, I'll never understand. <laughs> yeah, it's mad, you know, man. Man's really got Arsenal tattoo play un- under the blue shirt, you know. You know bro, saying? this is some this is some secret super agent bullshit, bro. That's what this is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man's uh, crying inside, blood. I see when he had his, all his family in the Chelsea shirts and that and the barbie. Yeah, and all the Chelsea fans crying. were getting bashed. So, and I was I was just looking at everybody, thinking you and are un, very unserious right now because he he's just he's just not he's just it's just not what you want to see, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's yeah, but he's only got like eighty months deal, though. So it's not even that deep. Slide, yeah, you know? it's. It's, it's, it's still I gotta live for it, DG. Every day, you know, I gotta wake up, know that he's starting up front. Know that he's he gonna it. score know ten, he ten Premier League goals. You heard it here first, man. He's gonna do the front flipping shit. I know that he doesn't, bro. He doesn't give a damn, man. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, he scores goals because that's his job. But I think he's got four Premier League goals and two in the Champions League, something like that. It's not. It's you not. Exactly. None of your attackers are really. To be fair to Aubameyang, banter aside, no one's like. Obviously, I hear you with Aubameyang, but no one's playing good. So it's like they're no, no, no the whole one, collective bro. tax. Yeah, no one, no one's playing well. I think the um, I, I'm I'm very surprised at Potter so far that he hasn't at least tried to stick to one particular, try and implement one style. It seems one day we're doing counter attack, like yeah. which is what we're doing against and also United. one system as well, bro. Like yeah, so look, and yeah, one eleven. This prayer, like for a new, the worst thing a new manager can do is rotate blood all the time. I the feel trip, like every time I ship. watch. Yeah, every time I watch Chelsea, they got a new 11, bro. Like, every game, bro. Like, Potter changes the team every week. And it shows that he doesn't even know what his best team is. He doesn't know what his best style is. He doesn't know what he wants to do with the current players he's got. It's almost like he's spoiled for choice. And that's what a lot of them smaller managers do. They get bigger jobs. And they're used to just working with 13 men. You know them, man. And then all of a sudden they got a squad of 25. They don't know what to fucking do, bro. He probably you knows know it's mean? a free hit as well. So he's like, let me try experiment and find the thing. But at the same time, I agree with you. You need to find a system, just get three points. The players that are performing, do what you need to do and try and achieve what Chelsea are doing, man. But he probably knows he's kind of got... I don't, I don't know for the new regime because historically at Chelsea, you don't get time like that. But he probably knows that there's a lot of question marks before you get at him, man, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, 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 and that's 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 one thing that he's got is he should have he should have time, but you know you still have to do uh, the bare minimum in terms of results. You know we can't be out here losing to Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest back to back, and then there's no Ooh. there's no red flags. Do you know what I mean? I 100%. mean we have we have Man City in the FA Cup, <clears throat> we're out of the Carabao Cup, we have Dortmund Same. in the Champions League. You know, God forbid all of that ended up in L's. <laughs> and we were dwindling in seventh with nothing to play for in February. Yeah, but when you man are buki, you always do well in the champs. That's why oh, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to laugh. I hear that, yeah. But see, that was the old Chelsea. I don't know what the new. The, I feel like because Todd Bowie's coming and the, this yeah, manager's coming. Man. I, I kind of want to get rid of all of that heritage and just wipe it because that was the Roman era. It's that kind was of irrelevant Aaron now. Isn't it? Big manager comes in, big name buy your way to success in terms of, you know, no process, no projects, no, not really too many young players apart from that transfer ban. We just going for it, going for it. And that was like Chelsea heritage. Now, new owner, new recruitment team, new manager, who definitely hasn't, you know, got a CV of doing that. He's he's more about developing players and he's been moving up the ranks from Ostersons to Brighton. I can't really even pretend that that, that Chelsea is still there. I'm, I'm looking at a Chelsea team that have lost five cup finals in a row at Wembley. So, I don't really, I'm not really gonna 
hang my hat on this, you know, last season hurrah snag a trophy out of nowhere. I think, I think, you know, if we're gonna go through this this p word that I don't like to say, then I think that's gonna come with some 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 problems along the way. But that's, no, there's that's gonna be teething problems, man. 